Now, I wanted to make a quick update video for you all on a topic we've covered just recently because as I was scrolling across Reddit today, I found out that the Ruth Price phone call was solved. And if you recall from my last video, I stated this. So ultimately, I lean just a tad more on this tape being real rather than fake, but I honestly think you can make an argument for either side. And while I'd obviously love to know what you guys think about all of this, for now, I must say the mystery of Ruth Price will continue as an urban legend until some other new info comes forward to suggest otherwise. Now, as it turns out, the call was real, and it appears the missing link to this particular phone call has finally been found. So the person who found this was a user on Reddit by the name of FarValuable5819, and they'd been listening to another podcast that just recently talked about Ruth Price. This podcast was the Going West podcast on December 31st, 2021, and after hearing that podcast on Ruth Price, they decided to check news archives, and they managed to make a breakthrough. Now, obviously, when I did my research for my video, I obviously looked through news archives extensively, but I will note I spent basically all my time looking through commercial archives like newspapers.com. This person found the smoking gun looking through a newsbank archive which is an archive you would find at an institution or a public library that tends to be more extensive. From here, all they really had to do was search for Ruth Price and it would give them the final result that would tie this whole thing together because they found an article from November 3rd, 1980 in the San Diego Union Tribune. And if you recall C from our last episode of the 911 operator I spoke to and also the person who uploaded the call from cassette tape to the internet, they claim that this wasn't a 911 call as it either predated it or it was simply a non-emergency line. Well, it turns out San Diego didn't implement 911 until 1982, and it appears the night that Ruth Price was attacked was in 1980. And the specific Ruth Price that was attacked was the one that I showed from last episode from Google Street View. However, the confusing detail that threw everybody off was the fact that this woman had passed away from an illness in 1994. And thus, this led me and many others to believe that this couldn't be the Ruth Price that we were talking about. As it turns out, the urban legend had basically been throwing us off. And some of you suggested that Ruth Price simply could have been assaulted on this night and then passed away in 1994. Turns out this was correct. Not only did she not pass away, she actually survived and scared off the Prowler, which means that this story was likely fabricated after the fact for training purposes. To quote the San Diego Union Tribune on November 3rd, 1980, it stated, Police are looking for a youth who tried to strangle a 76-year-old East San Diego woman yesterday. Officers said Ruth M. Price of the 3800 block 3877. of 35th Street was calling police to advise them of a prowler in the area when she was grabbed from behind and choked. She was able to break the attacker's grip after dropping the telephone, screaming, and pulling at the attacker's hands. The youth fled. Price said she did not know why she was assaulted and had never seen the suspect before. So there you have it. There was a real call, but the story behind it wasn't. Not only that, I also want to point out that the loud thud that we hear at the end is basically her pulling the phone receiver to fight off whoever is attacking her. Given the fact that this tape was used for training, it's a cheeky little trick to say that the call is real, but have the trainers fabricate the backstory behind it. Based on your guys' comments, it seemed that most of us anticipated fake audio with a backstory based on true events. Now, obviously, I don't think this call would have stuck around on the internet as an urban legend for as long as it did, had all of us been told that the woman had survived. But as is the case for many 911 operators, they often don't know the outcome of the calls they receive. So to recap our timeline, it appears that after the 1980s, this call spread across cassette tape to other parts of Southern California, where after some two decades later, C, who was also based in Southern California, had uploaded this call to the internet, and thereafter the internet had spread like wildfire. But it is worth mentioning that the earliest mention of this call on an internet forum is also from an EMT out of Southern California as well. But thankfully, the ending of this internet mystery is that she did in fact survive. And based on how many of you were familiar with this particular phone call after the last video, it appears this call has had a lasting legacy and has made the world a safer place as a result. So that being said, this is Barely Sociable. Have a good night.